Ty Tuivasa, and he's joining us right now via the Magic of Skype. There he is. Ty, how are you? I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting, but we had all kinds of drama here on the show. I know it's very early, so my my, my sincerest apologies. All good, bro. All good. It's good to talk to you. Wow, this is very exciting. Um, so you're 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 not you're not that deep into your career, but here you are, just a few months away from fighting a legend, the former heavyweight champion. Uh, your first fight in the United States, UFC 225. Is this happening a little sooner than you expected? Um, yes and no. Uh, it was ex- I was expected of uh, I was expecting to fight uh, in America, but uh, I, I was just very fortunate that uh, my first two fights were, were were on home soil, so it was good for me. How do you feel about fighting to you know fighting in America? Um, you know the the opportunity to get on a big stage, pay per view there what's going to be a big card. Do you feel like you're, it's it's time for you to move away from Australia? All your fights have taken place in Australia. Do you feel like this is the right time? Um, I, I'm, sure, I, I'm sure I'll be fine fighting anywhere. Uh, it doesn't, it, that doesn't really bother me. Just uh, it's good for me now. I think it's time for me to step up, and uh, especially against a good opponent, that's for sure. When you got the call about Andre Arlovsky, what did you think? I mean, this is a legend of the sport. What was your reaction? I was like, yeah, that's pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> I, get to, this... I get to fight someone <laughs> with a big name. <laughs> Do you feel like he's on your level? Oh, he's, 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 he's awesome. He's, 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 you know, he's been around for a long time. Uh, you know, he's an ex-champ. But uh, I think it's, yeah, I think it's my time now and time for me to step up. Okay, so we have a lot to discuss about your last fight. First of all, everything from the fight itself, um, the performance, the the post-fight celebration, in and out of the cage, it was all great stuff. But I ha- I've been dying to ask you about the shoey because the shoey is something that has been on my mind ever since you pulled it off in Perth. You are literally drinking... What, what is that? What Like, that particular time, what was that? Was that beer? Uh, I think it was uh, Jim Beam. But taste Jim Beam? Like anyway. In a shoe. Whose shoe was that? <laughs> Uh, I got no idea. I just asked the, <laughs> one of the one of the one of the people in the crowd for their shoe, and I took his drink too. So he probably he's like, "Oh shit, I came to the UFC to get robbed by one of the fighters." Oh my god! So you you didn't know this individual. You take their drink, you take their shoe, you drink out of it. What does that taste like? I mean, it can't taste like you're drinking out of a cup, right? There's got to be some other factors involved that change the taste. Uh, it's better. Tastes better. It tastes better. <laughs> Why better? Yeah. You never done one? You never I never done one. No, I have not done one. I haven't had the pleasure. I'd love to do one one day, perhaps with you. Maybe in Chicago we could do it. But no, I've never had the pleasure. Well, if you're in Chicago, I'm sure we can we can get down <laughs> and get on a few shoeys. How long have you been doing the shoey? It's kind of, it's pretty it's really normal over here. In, in Australia, but um, yeah, <laughs> probably as long as I've been drinking. Wow. When you say it's normal, is it normal to do it with your own shoe or with a stranger's shoe? I you would usually use a, a stranger's shoe. Why? Why sure. can't it be your own shoe at least? If you're gonna be like you know drinking out of a shoe, might as well be your own shoe. <clears throat> it's better out of someone else's. That that was that was actually a real <laughs> timid um, shoey. You usually Why? you would usually get uh, everyone everyone to um to spin in it and then you would uh what and then you would do it <laughs> stop it and then you would do it. you're not being I'm serious being spit in it I'm being dead spit. yeah <laughs> why that's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life welcome to Australia spit in it <laughs> jeez Louise think about the germs. You've you've had you, you you've sure. you've consumed a, 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 an alcoholic beverage out of a shoe that people have spit in on a regular basis. <laughs> when was the last time? Um, not sure. My after party after the fight, I think I did uh, a few I'm, few too many. How many people are usually spitting in it? <laughs> Typically. Well, it depends who's there. Sure. But like, on, on, like, what's the most well, amount of people that you've had? Ten. Oh my gosh, that is horrible. 
Uh, have oh, you? Yeah, I've had a few. Do you, do you do you spit it in as well, or is that just crazy? Yeah. Okay, you do that. We'll do one. We'll do one when I when I. Spit. Yeah, there's no spit. I, I I draw the line at the spitting. Um, I draw the line at the shoe, and the spitting <laughs> is love, just. I love <laughs> a lot of a lot of my a lot of my American friends draw the line. At the yeah, but, the uh, spitting is just. Have you ever done a shoey with Mark Hunt? Yeah, he he, uh, he did one after after my fight. Oh my lord, that is something. Um, <laughs> I, I I I can't get over that. That is just unbelievable. Uh, you you used to be a uh, a rugby league player, correct? Correct. Um, and uh, the story that I read was that one night you you gambled away twenty thousand dollars, and then you said that was it for me. I'm done with this. Yeah, that that was probably just the tipping point, you know. I was I was living away from home, I was away from my friends and family, and I think that was just the the last point for me. Then I had to be back home around my friends and family. How big of a problem was gambling for you? Oh, I wouldn't suppose it was a problem, but it was more just a, a thing to do, you know. Not being around uh, any friends or, or family, it was just. It's just something for me to do, so probably not the best thing to do. But you know, we go through them stages. And and what were you doing? Like what 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 were you gambling on? Uh, just everything. Just before. everything. <laughs> there, there wasn't one particular, wasn't one particular thing that you were focusing on. Uh, mainly probably poker machines. Okay. Okay. Um. And what does you know, kicking the gambling habit have to do with walking away from rugby. Why did you have to do both? I think it was just a. I think it was just a point where I just was. I just had enough, and I and I decided from that day on. I was like, oh, I reckon I can make it in fighting. So, I gave it a crack. Did you have any experience in martial arts prior to that? Yeah, yeah. I, I was fighting and playing football. At the same time, so I had my first fight at like seventeen. So I was still playing football and fighting. Was that something that you always thought? Okay, I'm going to do this after my career. It just happened sooner. Uh, I think football started. They 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 bring in a few rules where they just tried to like if you fought, you got in big trouble on the field and stuff. So I was like, uh, it was just. I think it was just good timing. Okay. Me. And I, I always like I always like punching people more than than uh, running over them. Um, what was Mark Hunt one of the guys that you grew up watching? Did you look up to him? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, Mark Hunt and uh, Ray Seppel was probably one of the as as a you know as an Islander kid. I think that's the fight we all we all get to see. And I think I saw that fight when I was a bit younger. I was like, damn, that's. That's hot. That's what I want. I want to be remembered for something like that. When did you first meet Mark? Uh, I was like, I, uh, before his uh, Bigfoot camp, they called me to um, see if I wanted to um, help him out. And ever since then, uh, we just, yeah, we've always stuck together. Wow. Um, and it, was that surreal for you at first to, to be a part of the camp of a guy that you look up to? Oh, it was crazy. I was like, uh, my, my trainer's like, oh, you want to go to New Zealand and spar with Mark? And I was like, you're G and up. And then, <laughs> um, so then, yeah, then it all happened. And then, um, yeah, it kind of just went from there. It's amazing. What, 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 and what's it like being around him? Well, now it's it's pretty normal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, we, we just, we just kick back. It's nothing, you know. But um, yeah, it's it's been an awesome experience and probably you know boosted me up pretty quick. It feels like there's this influx of of young um, Australian talent. Of course, you know Robert Whitaker is the champion, but there's you, there's Tyson Pedro, there's Jake Matthews. A lot of them, uh, a lot of uh, of 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 the Australian talent was on hand um, at the Perth event. Do you feel like Mark Hunt, like in in Canada where I'm from, there's a famous uh, hockey goalie named Patrick Waugh who was great in the '90s, and then as a result, all these young goalies came up from from Quebec, where uh, where I'm from. Do you feel like Mark Hunt, like his presence, almost like spawned 
this this young generation that you guys watched him as a kid and said, I want to be like that guy. And as a result, there's all these great fighters now. Like, is he directly related to the influx of young Australian fighters now? I don't know. That was pretty full on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think of it uh, on that level. I, I think. I think. Um, I think just because I think we're so far behind, I don't, I don't think the world uh, really realizes that uh, over this side of the world. We're, we're pretty. We're pretty behind on the fighting kind of scene. Mm-hmm. So um, I think it's. Just, I think it's just up to us, the people who, who you know, who got the foot in the door. I think we're all. We're all. We've all got a saying that you know we're changing it up. You know, everyone's getting into MMA now over here, so it's been good. I think there's a long way for us to go, but it's it's been good. How much do you uh, like uh, weight wise? How much do you do you, do you weigh when you walk around? Like right now, how much do you weigh around? About uh, one thirty-two kilograms, right? Yeah. Uh, I have to translate that because I don't. Okay, that's two ninety-one <laughs> yeah, um, I, pounds. I, I, I got no idea about pounds here. What well, what's the biggest you've ever been? The biggest? Yeah. One one fifty eight. One fifty eight. I got to. When when you were when you were uh, uh that's three forty eight by the way for those uh in America. What, was that? <laughs> is it? <laughs> was that when you were a rugby player? No, nah, that was when I was uh, chewing and doing nothing. <laughs> okay. How long ago was that? Uh, probably over two years ago. Probably went through a bit of a patch. Um, went out of hand and got fat, fatter, wow. fatter than I. That's not that's not that long ago. Two years ago, that's not that long ago. That's in the midst of your MMA career. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been up and down on on uh, on this on this journey. Why did you allow yourself to get so big? Like, were you down about something? <clears throat> probably just it was probably probably longer than two years ago maybe but um no i was just i think i just had gay football out i was fighting then i had a couple fights and then i had a rest and broke my hand so that mm. kind of put me out all different all different shit right 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 uh but then you got I'm back on back track now you are back now and you're killing it you've never gone past the first round uh in your seven pro fights uh, all the finishes, KO, TKO. Does a part of you want to show people what you can do in the second and third, or are you are you happy with letting this streak of first round finishes go as long as possible? Um, well, th- that's what I say to people. Uh, everyone asks me, like, oh, you going out there to finish it first round? I, I don't, I don't go out there intending to finish it in the first round. It just, it just seems to happen. And if I see if I see someone hurt or or, or rocked, I, I just uh, you know I jump on it and. I capitalize on that, that's all. Yeah, like the flying knee. That was something else. For a guy your size to finish like that? Fat boys can fly too, you know? <laughs> uh, is that something that you actually work on or were you just sort of capitalizing in the moment? <clears throat> no, I've never never really done a flying knee, but um wow. look good. Yeah, it did look good. It looked very good. And, and the post-fight <laughs> celebration, the way you get jiggy with it is great. Is that uh, is that something you work on as well, or is just kind of how you're feeling in the moment? That's just that's just when I you know when I'm moving, I'm moving, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you're uh, let me get this right: Are you married to Tyson Pedro's sister, or is he married to your sister? I'm I'm with his sister, so I've, okay. I've got a kid to uh, to his sister. Yeah. Oh wow! Um, and uh, it, so you met you met Tyson through his sister. Uh, no, no, no. We've known each other for a long time. We just yeah, I ended up with his sister. Wow! And now you have a podcast together. You're both a podcast host, right? The the Halfcast podcast. Yeah, we do the Halfcast podcast. Check it out. Yeah, it's, everyone. it's great. You it's got Robert Whitaker. Funny, you know, I, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. He's come on. We've had a few guests. So it's actually going pretty good. I didn't. I, ne- I never thought people sat around it and. Uh, and actually watch that, but um, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> yes, I made a whole Skype living. Skype for too. I, I, yeah, I've never used Skype before either, but um, you know, we learn it every day, Randy. Every day. Now you could do interviews on your show via Skype, like this one. 
I don't know how to, but it sounds good. <laughs> uh, whose idea was that? Was that yours or, or Tyson's idea to do that? <clears throat> that's that's Tyson. Tyson Tyce is very smart. He, he's a, he's a smart guy, um, and he was just like, because I was just saying, like we always just talk, sit around and talk shit all the time, and he was like, oh, we should make a show. And I was like, you're kind of crazy. No one's gonna sit there and watch us talk shit. Yeah. And then now I just get messages nonstop saying that they love it. So it's great. I suppose it's pretty good. I've watched it and I got to say the the production value is very good. I mean, you guys do a really nice job. Oh, thanks. It's hot in there, but my back shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, happy birthday to you. I know you just celebrated your birthday, right? Thank you. Thank you. How did we celebrate? Were any shoeys involved? I think uh, it was with the fit. Oh, actually... I went to, um, what did I do? I can't even remember now. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. I had, a, I had a, I had a big weekend. I actually went to uh Ed Sheeran concert and, uh, oh. Bruno Mars. Wow. Um, that's so, fun. So I had a really good weekend. Yeah. I understand. You, you know, get I used to see them all the time. Over there. Yeah, of course. Those are, those are legends, uh, in the pop world. I, 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 I call your, your friend, Mark Hunt, for many years, I've been calling him the KFC King because he loves the double down. He loves that that sandwich. But I understand you're a big KFC fan as well. Yeah, we love KFC over here, man. <laughs> That's. But I also love um, Popeyes. When I went to America, I tried that. Oh yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's man. which is better. That was good too. Ooh. <laughs> Just buy both. That's what you By both, yeah. <laughs> Daniel Cormier is a big Popeyes Popeye. fan. I like Popeye. Wow. Yeah, I like Popeyes. You don't have Popeyes I in like Australia? It. I had a look. Nah, we don't have we don't have none of that. What do you like to get at KFC? Like, what's your go-to meal there? Uh, buck, like the chicken. I like the chicken. Yeah, well, of course, I would imagine you like the chicken. But is it a certain kind of like a, a bucket, like a sandwich, a bucket? What do you What do you get? Yeah. Probably a bucket. I like Wicked Wings too. You know the winged. No, I've never had those. Oh well, they're good too. Mm. What's the Are most you amount? Of... Me feel fat now. Like... I'm sorry. No, no. I'm. I just. I, like... <laughs> I like talking. I know it's early over there. You ever go for breakfast at KFC? Do they have breakfast? I'm about to head there right now. After this, uh... <laughs> uh, one last thing about the shoey. What's the like? What's the go-to drink? Is there like a standard drink, or you could put anything in there? Um, yeah, you would, you, it would mainly be alcohol, but, um, yeah, no, of course. But like, is there a certain like, kind of alcohol? I like my whiskey. Okay. Uh, it can be, it can be whatever, whoever, whoever's doing it. You know what I mean? I would love in Chicago if they have you, Tyson and Mark on that card. You know, I, I like you guys as a, as a threesome fighting on the same card. Any, any, any talks of that? It would be a good threesome. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and I, I, I think I'm the only one uh, confirmed at the moment. Oh, but, um, all right. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully they get on it as well because it'd be really good. Yeah. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Ty. I, I've really enjoyed uh, talking to you for the first time, and I appreciate you you waking up early to do this. All good, brother. Thanks for having me. Yes, and uh, enjoy that KFC later on today. And I'm sorry for. Uh, you know, tempting you to have it, but it's just, it's fun to talk about. I, I enjoy talking to, uh, to large men about their love of KFC. <laughs> and my cholesterol level. <laughs> we won't, we won't worry about that for now. And the shoey, please, if you're going to do it, uh, I, I can, I can, I can live with the idea of you drinking out of someone's shoe, but please stop with the spitting. I mean, the spitting is just a little too much. You know, the spit or swallow. In this world, <laughs> Ariel. Okay. Some of us do both. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave it at that. Thank you, Ty. I appreciate it. Thanks, Have a great day. All the best. There he is. The one and only Ty Tuivasa.